Hey everyone and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. I'm Joey and today we're going to be looking at my first impressions of the RG405M. This just arrived a few minutes ago and I'm super excited to play around with this. Uh, for me this is looking to be one of my perfect handhelds. Main reason being it's small and portable. So let's take a look in the box and see what's inside. As you can see, Embernix kind of stepped up their game when it comes to packaging. They include this nice little white cover on top of it. My RG353 feed didn't have this. First impressions, this feels really good in my hands. I'm really liking this weight, liking the feel of the metal and the ergonomics of this compared to what I have now. I, yeah, <laughs> this will this will be a good one for me, I think. The buttons feel great, the D-pad as usual. Buttons are clicky and have a nice click sound to them. As you can see on the top, there's a USB-C slot, as well as the start and select buttons, power button and R2 and L2. And on the bottom, you can see an SD card slot, as well as the headphone jack. And then some vents for airflow. This is passively cooled, not actively cooled, so just keep that in mind. Overall, really liking this so far. Let's take a look at what else is in the box, just for completeness sake. We have the manual, and as well as the wipes for the screen protector. Uh, I did not see uh, an actual screen protector on this one from the factory. Sometimes there is just kind of a factory applied screen protector. This one doesn't seem to have that, so should be safe to just put your own screen protector on it and off you go. I'm gonna clean up my screen a little bit. It's a bit dirty and I like to be able to see the screen. Let's take a look at it in comparison to my RG353V, uh, which again, need to clean the screen. As you can see, the screen is a bit bigger on the RG405M, as well as the size of the 405M being a little bit bigger as well. Uh, there's websites that can help with this. Retrosizer.com is a good one for it. Just want to show you in real time what this looks like. The buttons look to be the same. Could have fooled me if they are different. Might be a little bit rounded on the RG405M for the D-pad. Otherwise, they look the same. And then, of course, there's the Skittle-typed buttons on the RG405M, which I am really liking this color combination. Again, height of the 405M is just a bit bigger than the 353V, which for me is not an issue. Okay, let's turn this thing on and see what we get out of it. I am not going to be doing a full game showcase or even operating system showcase right now. I like to completely wipe everything off of the Android operating system and start from scratch with all of my emulators and settings and all of that. So main point of today will just be a first impressions, kind of take a look at what the hardware looks like and, and just the overall package. But I'm going to be doing a full setup guide and how I configure it with removing every single program and emulator settings, all of it to get to a fresh install and then setting up everything from the way that I like it. If you're interested in that, keep an eye out. I'll have that video up in the next week or so, I'm hoping. This this feels really good. I'm, I'm really happy with the back pads as well. A nice little grippy texture feeling to, to help with gripping on the device. It doesn't feel slippery or anything like that at all. It just, it definitely helps. Um, but the ergonomics of this is, is definitely a lot more comfortable than something like my RG353V. Let's fast forward through this. That's just reconfiguring systems and setting everything up and no point wasting time here. Okay, so it's done and we are into the home screen. Ambernix Android build. Taking a look at the quick panel, all the usual suspects are here. Nothing really crazy. As you can see, Google Play is up and running, comes built in with their Android build nowadays. And there's a list of all of their emulators and applications as well. Let's check to see if there's a system update. And no, we are completely up to date with the version that it ships with. No issues there with having to update or, or get anything new from a firmware perspective. Okay, and now let's boot into their front end. I just want to take a quick look. I do not plan on using it at all with Show being an option. First things first, I guess you have to just set up and confirm. Let's go in through and do that. Give them the permissions that it's needed for a RetroArch and all of that. I'm going to be removing all of this as soon as I get a chance. Let's exit out and just get back to their front end. 
And this is where things got wonky for me. I got frozen on this screen, started getting a whole bunch of errors and, and issues, didn't work. So I ended up just restarting. Again, I'm not going to be using their front end. I'll be using Digisho. I just don't see a need for it anyways. So all these issues, all these errors don't really apply to me. Not something I'm going to care about for my setup at least. And so even with the reboot, still getting errors. So I had to just go back into the RG front end app clear the storage and cache, and then everything worked again perfectly. So if you run into any issues like I did, try these steps. Hopefully that helps you. I would highly suggest just installing Digisho and using that as your front end. Although this does look serviceable as an option. Let's just flip through, see the systems and, and what's included. There's no games here, of course, because I did not purchase the extra SD card with games. I have my own ROM library, so there's no point in me doing that. Looks like they have pretty much most of the usual suspects. Again, not going to be going into any games here. Uh, I'm going to save that for a future video when I have everything set up as I want it. Just wanted to give you a quick first look at the RG405M and keep an eye out for my future videos because I'm going to be doing a lot on this device. And that's it for this one. Hope you liked the video and hope you all have a good one.